Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous tutorial I showed you how to add physics and collision um, in um, your game scene in Unity um, which resulted in having just a simple setup like this. So we have a ball that lands on the ground, collides with the ground and then rolls along. So we have things like gravity, um, we have collision um, and so we are kind of got the basic setup here to start adding some interactivity to the game. Um, anyway, so what we'll do in this tutorial is we'll start adding things like bounce so that this ball can bounce a little bit more when it hits the ground. And we'll also add, a, um, add some more objects with um, colliders in this scene. So in order to give this ball some bounce, we need to add um, a physics 2D material. So what I'll do in my assets, um, panel here, I'll go into the materials folder just to keep things organized, right click in there, create and click on physics 2D material. And I'm going to give this a name, so I'll call it bouncy, hit return. And when I select this physics 2D material, if I look on the right hand side, I have some properties here that I can um, edit. So we have friction and bounciness. Now, I want to um, make this ball bounce a little bit more. So I'm going to change the bounciness. And um, you can pick a value between 0 and 1. So if I maybe change this to 0 0.4, I can increase the bounciness for this material. And what I need to do is basically just um, drag it onto this object, the ball sprite. So I can go to the ball sprite and I can just simply drag it on like that. Um, or the other thing that you can do is you can click on, um, if you go to your circle collider 2D component, where it says material, you can actually drag the material onto that little box there as well. So now it says bouncy there. Now we'll click on play, see what happens we get a little bit of bounce there. Okay, um, so we might want to give this some more bounce. So if we go back to the bouncy material, we can just increase the bounciness. So we could say maybe 0 0.6 and now play it. It's a bit bouncier. And what happens if we make this maybe one? We get a lot more bounce. Okay, so I think I was happy with bounce around about 0 0.4. So we'll go back and test that. Yeah, I'm happy with about that much bounce. So basically to add a physics 2D material to an object, you go to that object and if you've already got a collider on there, you can just drag the material straight onto this uh, material property here on the inspector panel or you can just drag it straight onto the object um, in the scene, either way. Okay, so now we've got some bounciness on this ball. What I'm going to do is just add some more sprites into this scene. Um, and so I'll go back to the sprites folder. And what I'm going to do is add a plank. So I can drag the plank sprite on. And might just add a few of these. And you'll notice that when I add a few of these, they show up in the hierarchy as Plank Sprite 0, 1, and 2. Um, in one of the following tutorials, I'm going to show you a better way of setting up um, assets in your scene um, and using things like prefabs. And we'll also, we'll also look at um, layering objects as well. So what happens if I want to add um, something to the scene and I want it to be behind the plank but in front of the background. We'll look at how to do that in one of the following tutorials. But what I'm going to do is just add some planks here and I'll just move the ball up a bit. And I basically want the ball to land on these planks and bounce off the planks and then onto the ground. Okay, so I might just move these planks around. I might rotate this one a little bit and select this other one. I'll rotate it a little bit as well. And I'll select the last one and rotate that a bit too. 
and maybe just move it down a little bit. Okay, now I'll click on play, see what happens, and the ball actually just falls straight through the plank. <laughs> um, so I might actually move the camera up a little bit so we can see the ball a bit more. Let's move it about there. So you can click on the main camera and you can move it up or left and right if you want, up or down. And you can see a camera preview down here or you can just go to game view and um, get a preview there as well without actually running the game. Anyway, so at the moment the ball just falls straight through the sprites. So we need to add colliders to these sprites here, to the plank sprites. So I'll click on the first plank. Now, in the previous tutorial, we looked at a um, couple of different colliders. We looked at the edge collider, which we used for the ground, and the circle collider, which we used for um, the ball. So on this first plank, I'm gonna go add component, physics 2D, and I have some options here for colliders. Now I can select the edge collider, and what I could do, let's just zoom in here, I can see that the edge collider is actually in the middle of the plank, which um, we don't really want it like that at the moment. So I'll click on edit collider and I'll move it up to there like that and play that. Okay, so it bounces off the first plank there. But what happens if you actually, um, if, what happens if the ball is maybe gonna go and hit the plank on the side? Well, it might actually go straight through the bottom of this plank because there's no collider surrounding the plank. The collider is only on the top part of the plank. So instead of adding an edge collider, maybe we should choose a different collider. So I'm gonna go over to the inspector panel and where the edge collider 2D component is, I'm gonna just click on that little settings cog and I'm going to remove this component. So I've just removed the collider. I'll click on add component, physics 2D, and this time I'll choose a box collider. All right, and now the box collider has automatically just filled out the shape of this plank, but if we needed to edit it, we could click on edit collider and we could change the size and position of that collider if we want to. So now I'll click on play and that looks good. So what we've done is we've just added a collider that actually surrounds the whole object rather than using an edge collider that only goes on top of the object. Okay, and we can go and add that for the other planks as well. So add component, physics 2D, box collider. Add component, physics 2D, box collider for the third one. We'll run that now. And there we go. All right, but you might have some more complicated um, sprites in your scenes. So you might have a character that is not just a circle or a rectangle or a flat line, you might have something that's a bit more of a complicated shape. So as an example, what I'll do is I'll add this um, bomb sprite here. So I'll drag that onto the scene. Might just scale it up a little bit, make it a bit bigger. And I'll move it over here. And I wanna add a collider to this bomb, but it's not just a circle. We also have this bit up here on top of the bomb. So what I want is a collider that can trace this object. So I'll click on add component, physics 2D, and this time what I'll choose is a polygon collider 2D component. And when I click on that, it actually automatically tries to trace the sprite and go, it, um, traces all the way around the shape of this sprite, which is pretty cool. And if we need to edit it, we can just click on edit collider and we can go and change some of these lines like that if we want to. Just click on different points. We can add points on the line and move them in or out. Just like that. Okay, and then we click off to edit, um, finish editing that collider. All right, so now we could click on play. And you may have noticed that the ball actually hit the top of the bomb right there. So the collider is completely surrounding this bomb. What we might also do is add a component to, another component to this bomb sprite. 
we'll go to physics 2D and we'll give it a rigid body. And now we'll play it and it should roll. And we can see when it rolls, it actually stops um, rolling because it's not completely round. Just to demonstrate that a little bit more, we might actually make it fall to the ground as well. So I'll move that up here and play it. Okay, and so there you can see the difference between those colliders. So we've got um, edge colliders, we've got box colliders, we've got circle colliders, and now we've also got a polygon collider. So um, you just need to look at the assets that you're using in your game and decide on which collider would be best to use, um, depending on how you want um, the physics to work in your game and how you want objects to react with each other. All right, so that's basically how to add um, different colliders to your scene um, and also how to add uh, physics 2D materials as well to objects in your scene. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.